Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this describing motion problem, they want us to go from this motion diagram here and to get all the information from it and put it into a table. And then they want us to use that information to make a graph, a position versus time graph or X versus T graph from the table. So let's start off and at time zero here, we are at a position of 1200 meters. Now at the next one at one, let's see, that's, we'll say 975. Two is 825. At three, let's see, that's about in between 700 and 800, so 750. Four is 700. And then 650 for five, 600 for six. And then let's see, that one's 500 for seven. And then eight jumps all the way down to 300. Time nine, we're at zero meters. All right, so now we have our table data. So that is part A. Now we need to make the position versus time graph. All right, so now let's go ahead and label this as zero right here. Down here on the x-axis, that is time, of course, in seconds. The y-axis is the x position, and that's in meters. And then we'll say 300, 600, 900, and 1200. So 300 meters, 600, 900 and 1200. And then we go from two to 10 every two seconds would be the easiest. So here's two, four, six, eight, and 10. And now all we have left is to plot this. So we start out at position zero, 1200 meters, 1200 at zero, at one is 975 there or so maybe. Next one is 825. So we come down. So at two, it's 825. At position three, we have 750. So 750 is gonna be about here, probably. Four is 700. So let's say that one's there. Five is 650. Six is 600. Seven is 500, so that's gonna be down about there, so. Eight comes all the way down to 300 down here, and then nine is zero. Okay, so now here is your table for part A right here, and there is your graph for part B of plotting all the data points on the position versus time graph. And you can see that initially, of course, where our position is moving pretty quickly, it's a pretty steep slope, and then it kind of levels off and we're not going quite as quickly, and then we take up uh, pickup speed again and we go pretty fast here. So here's part A for the table and part B for the graph.